What is up, YouTube? It is the Young Gamer here playing some some Minecraft. And if you haven't noticed on the left already, we have a bit of a special today. We're playing Pixelmon. I've only had this for a day, but it's still insanely fun. And I've been playing it on a multiplayer server that I do uh, currently host. Hello there, trainer. Um, and for those of you that I like, and those of you who I like, who are subscri subscribed and comment on the video, and you know, like it and everything, um, I will give, you, I will message you guys the IP to the server, and even let you join my Hamachi. Here is our teleport station. So specific Pokemon spawn at specific areas. Um, also, I have a texture pack, texture pack on. It is the Ozo texture pack for 1.5.2. I love it because it's a 32 by 32, and I find it very high detail. Alright, so these are our teleport stations. We have Extreme Hills, the Jungle, and the Forest, slash beach. So let's head to the Forest and the Beach, and we're here. Um, here we have our beach. This is where you can find Pokemon like... Um, crap, what else can you get? Not the Sand Slash isn't specifically here. That's mainly in the desert. Rhyhorns aren't specifically here, those are in the plains. You can find um, Kinglers, uh, Krabbies, Shelders. Um, I haven't found a uh, Cloister, I believe that's what it's called. Um, as well as in River Biomes, which is right here, you can find a Dratini, which is what I have right here. Um, so, all my Pokemon I have a, as you could just seen, my Dratini, a Magneton, a Vibrava, uh, let's bring it back in, here's the big one, Gyarados, yeah, yeah, um, Machoke, and once I get my friend back on the server I'm going to make this a Machamp, it's also an enormous Machoke, which makes it, it's the biggest it can get. Um, and last but not least, Enormous Charizard. So, when you first start a world, it'll give you the option to select one of four starters. Uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charizard, not Charizard, Charmander, or an Eevee. Um, I personally just chose the Charmander, so did my friend, and he has a Charizard, I have a Charizard, we're both, you know, freaking awesome. Um, so this is the jungle biome. You can find Pokemon like Ghastly, Caterpie, uh, Abras. That's an enormous Abra, I believe. I can't. Oh, Ghastly wants to fight. So <laughs> level 15 versus level 14. Not exactly fair. Um, yeah, the Pokemon Charmander or Charmeleon learns a Dragon type move fairly early in the game. Uh, level 17, in fact, and you get Dragon Claw, which I'm using here. And I don't know if that's like overpowered or what. Um, there is still mining that is required in the game. Actually, um, so I guess I've shown this off enough. Uh, you can also, this is one of my favorite features, let me uh, get a free hand in my inventory. Yeah, there also is Pokeballs that you have to craft, you gotta get the Apricorns, you gotta get a bunch of stuff, you get hammers, which is new, you get a Pokedex. Alright, so let's send out Charizard. This is the fun thing you can do. Away! I'm off. I am a Charizard. No, I'm not. I'm in it. If he could turn. If he could turn. Freaking turn. Yeah, the turning on this is very slow. Charizard's not the most agile. Alright, um, nearly home. Here we are. So, I guess I'll just show off the, uh, the town that I have set up. So if anyone is going to join, they can know how to get their, how to get around. Um, actually, currently using this skin. It's my nice skin. Alright, so here we have our battle station for anyone that feels that they want to, you know, battle it out. I know I could make this look better. I just, uh, lazy. Um, here's our apricorn farm. We have one of almost every type. We just do not have green or pink. Um, over here we have our Pokemon Center. I already, sh uh, actually, no, I did not show this off. So, you got the healing. You got the, um, PC, which you, which actually it works, which is fine. Um, and then you go downstairs, which we have set up, and you can get to the trading machines. 
Uh, that's actually how I got an Alakazam, which you probably saw on my PC. Uh, over here we have our farm, which is where we just got the food that'll be grown. Uh, the Pokemon have been trampling a few of them, sadly. And over here we have the um, the Pokemon Lab, which I made to look as much as the thing as possible. Uh, this is where you can get your fossils. You get your fossil cleaner, which you put the fossil in, which you can find in gravel from 20 to 50. Gravel, like, areas. You'll find a fossil stone, which you mine, and you get it. Um, you put it in the cleaner, it'll become the raw fossil. You put it into the fossil machine it'll become whatever fossil it would be. There's another PC over here. We got some snowmen. I didn't want to put NPCs because too lazy again. And that's basically the town. And you start off at a level 5 and you'll you'll be finding these guys around. Level 40s and level 20s and level 30s. That's why I suggest you go to the forest and you just kill as many Pokemon there, as well as, while in the forest, get the Apricorns, because those are the only, the forest is the only area you can find an Apricorn, which is how I got all these. And to plant an Apricorn, all you gotta do is you right click on the Apricorn down in the bottom, the top doesn't really work that well, if you notice. Um, and you just go to the ground and you right click. And if you want, you can even break the plant to get another Apricorn, which is basically how you get the, the massive spawning going. So, to also continue on with this, I'm going to collect some more. I accidentally planted that back here. I'm going to collect some apricorns. Some blacks. No racism. Um, and, I don't know, two yellows. Let's get that back up. Um, Alright, so let's head back to the house, and we'll get started on showing you how to make the specific items. I won't be showing how to make all the items. Oh yeah, I had some iron. I won't be showing how to make all the items, just the items that you need to, like, get Pokeballs and stuff. Alright, so, let's get rid of this string, because we don't need string. Just stay there. Alright, so, to get started, you need to make an anvil. To get an anvil, you need um, 8 iron, and you craft it in this shape. You'll get the anvil needed to create um, everything you need. As well as that, you need to have sticks. You get, like, stick stick. I already have a hammer, so I'm not really going to do this. You get stick stick, like any normal tool, and then you shape it like this with stone, wood, anything. You basically put a helmet with sticks. Um, as well as that you need to get cooked apricorns. To do this you just cook them. So we'll throw some black apricorns in there and once they're all done cooking we will continue. Alright we have enough done cooked. You need uh, two black apricorns to do this. So this is basically how to make the ultra balls. You get a black apricorn, black apricorn, yellow apricorn and they all need to be cooked and then you can get an Ultra Ball disc. Um, I don't really need one, so I'm just going to leave this how it is. And in here is my magical test of everything I need. Um, here you can get red apricorns to do that. You get red, red, red. Blues. To make great balls, you do uh, blue, blue, red. And I'm not exactly sure how to make um, the green and the pinks. I haven't really done those. So, that's a thing. Alright, so... Um, after you do that, I guess actually I will have to make a disc. You go that, that, that. It'll make you one disc. Whenever doing the um, regular Pokeballs, it'll give you three, or, yeah, three, I believe, three or five, five, five. All right, so what you do is you come up to your anvil that you have recently placed, as well as your hammer, which I will now get out, um, and you right-click with it on the hammer, and you start hammering. You just hold down the left mouse button. You'll notice it starts taking shape. You right click once you see it change shape three times, and you'll get the lid. Um, after you get that, you need to make sure you have smooth stone so that you can make a button. You put the button in the middle, iron base on the bottom, I'll show you how to make that in a sec, and your lid on the top. And you get an Ultra Ball. Or the Poke Ball, or the Great Ball, and these you can, I'll explain how you get these later. Alright, as well as the Net Ball. So, to get the uh, iron base, what you do is you get iron ingots and you put it just three across. And you'll get the iron disc and you do the same thing you did with the uh, the Ultra Ball disc. And you'll get that. Um, here you get the TMs. They do have TMs that you can find. And the way you get TMs is by either going into game mode 1, as you can see here. And you can go and look into this. You can find all the Pokeballs and the lids. You can find all the badges. Uh, those are currently not, you know, in the game. Restoration. These are 
you can make potions, but they 